name is Adriana Viveret, also known as Adri V, the go-getter. I'm a radio personality on Power 93.7 WBLK here in the city of Buffalo. I'm an adjunct professor where I teach media and marketing, and I also happen to run social media and digital communication for the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. And I happen to have graduated from the amazing high school that if I didn't go there, I would go there again. McKinley High School in 2005. Wow, that was a minute ago. All right, so my journey of being a part of BPS started straight when I was in kindergarten. I was at one school, I don't forgot the name. Um, my mother would drive me there every day, pick me up, and with the kindergarten there, kicked off, great teacher, Mrs. I was my teacher name. And then there was an annex building to that building, and I did classes there, and Mrs. Reed was my other favorite teacher, and she actually goes to my church right now. And she tells me all the time, I still look like the little girl I was. <laughs> I was there. Then I went to Mikowski. Mikowski was a phenomenal school. They had just opened up, very state of the art. And I will always be remembered at Mikowski because I got a chance to put my artwork inside the time capsule that is right on the side of the building that faces Johnny B. Wiley. So after being there, again, my mother would take me to school every day. And at some point, Afterwards, I aged out of that school and then I had to go to Southside Elementary. And this was the first time when I started catching the bus in fourth grade, being shipped all the way to the South Side of Buffalo and going to that school. And that's when I graduated from eighth grade and then attended McKinley High School. So getting myself accepted into McKinley, and I say accepted because I actually entered into coming to McKinley through the art program. My major was advertising art and photography. And in eighth grade, I took a liking to the school because they had the program. So my teacher in eighth grade helped me put together my portfolio, I had to go to McKinley and do an art test. I had to draw my hand, then you had to draw something else in the cafeteria. And I thought I, was, I did great. And then when you get in, you realize there's so many other students who are artists there. And at the time, my favorite teacher, Mr. Wright, was my freshman year teacher who taught me everything about pointillism to all kinds of art. And my love of eagles kicked off with that man. And so getting to McKinley was one of the greatest decisions I've made because it allowed me to explore my art side, my creative side, and to grow and develop as a young woman. And it was a no-brainer to go there because my cousin had went there. <laughs> and when he was going there, he played football, and I would go to his games, and I was like, I gotta come to this school. And I landed at McKinley, and it was one of the best decisions ever because the principal, Mrs. Barton, God rest her soul, was an amazing principal that taught us discipline, didn't play anything and made sure that if you didn't do right with your grades, you were not doing anything. So as someone who was extremely active school, I was a part of JROTC, the book club, a part of the yearbook club. I was a part of the Bible club. I was a uh, captain of the basketball team as well as the drill team and just participating in so many things. And I remember when my grades started slipping, but I was still passing. Miss Barton made me ride the bench and she said, you have to show up to all practices until your grades get higher and you, if you want to remain on the team. And I had to do all these things to remain on the team and she taught me a viable lesson. Don't let your grades slip. And from there on, I just continued to grow and develop at that school where I learned firsthand leadership skills, developing with your friends and just really cultivating a community outside of your own family and really just diving into building relationships with your teachers and principal, as well as your counselors. Some of my favorites were Dr. Rozier, um, Dr. DeWitt, two women who were amazing, who has passed on, but their legacy lived on through the things that they imparted within to their students. Um, and so many teachers, even like Mr. Hughes, right, who taught me history in the greatest way possible and how you can make it relevant to your modern day because everything repeats itself. So being at McKinley, it really helped me to develop to become the woman that I am today, where I got up and I did the morning announcements. Miss Barton made sure I did those things each and every time, and I had to enunciate and to pronounce everything properly. Then she would make me host the assemblies. So I started really getting my chops and developing my artistry of speaking right there in my high school and developing during that time period. <laughs> Being at McKinley leads me to where I am today. 
As I talked about one of my favorite teachers, Mr. Wright, he came into class every day happy. Even when it was a snowstorm, even when it was hot outside, and we would be sitting there miserable and mad, we're up at the crack of dawn. And I said, Mr. Wright, why are you so happy? And he would say, because I get here, and I teach, and I paint, and I just love what I do. He said, Adriana, if you find a job you love to do, you never work a day in your life. And that stayed with me. And to this day, I wake up every day doing what I love to do. As a radio personality, I'm on in Rochester, on in Buffalo. I've done Albany, worked at Sirius XM Hip Hop Nation for Dash Radio. Currently, my podcast, the G-Code Podcast, is on Revolt Podcast Network. In addition to that, of course, I have the luxurious opportunity to be able to educate the next generation as an adjunct professor. I've taught for the University of Buffalo, Brighton Stratton, Houghton University, Madai University, which is no longer with us. But through my teaching of having great teachers like a Mr. Wright, I was able to say, I too want to impart into the next generation and show them that you can love what you do and you never work a day in your life. So in addition to all of these things, I really learned and really just develop some of my greatest skill sets with being at McKinley and developing under great teachers, great leadership, and developing and cultivating my friendships that I still have today that I was able to have at McKinley High School. Listen, my name is Adriana Viverette. I'm Crystal's daughter, but to many, I'm Adri V the Go-Getter, and I am BPS.